Hey guys, this is Anraksu. I went to the garbages again and I found a new CRT monitor. Well, kind of new actually. This is this is a, a IBM CRT monitor uh, built in 2001. You can see it's in very nice condition. I actually the only piece that's missing is this one, and I actually got it off the grass. And um, it, it was raining actually. It, there was a very light thunderstorm going to here but I dried it all off and it wasn't that bad um, here's the front and it's one of those flat, flat ones you know flat CRT I don't think it's train trunk however uh, unfortunately it does not power on it does but then for three seconds it just goes out and uh, I don't want to I don't want to damage it anymore so I, I'm leaving it in I'm leaving it plugged in so the PSU can kind of like you know get some charge for the tube I just pulled it out, but um, I'm not too positive that this is working or not. So I just plugged it in back, and uh, I can I can plug it in, but and and power on. But see, there's no the, the oh there you go, there you go, there you go. Let's see if the CRT man can help me out. You can hear this? Here, here the can you hear that? Look, it's see. And now that I shut it off because it'll, it'll go away. I can't leave it on like that too much. So. You just saw a very good sample of what was happening. If anyone can help me out and tell me if I should leave that thing charged or not, or if, um, because I I I fear that I might be actually be damaging the tube inside, so I I rather just not leave it plugged in and I just rather let it dry even from. I don't think it's it's very dry inside. There is, like literally, there's like no opening. I mean that's open, but that's like there's that, but that's not. There's no water in here. It's all dry. I dried it all out. And um, this is this was the perfect monitor because this is the same color, the same design language. You can see there's a square. Um, you can see that, and you can see that. And I don't know. This was perfect. And uh, unfortunately, it's it's powering on, and it's it might be charging, but then I can't I can't play too much with it because then it'll, it'll go away. Last, I, I did this twice. I powered it on twice, and then the first time, however, I left it on. And then degaussed twice, and it was hissing and stuff. And I said, "That's not too good. That doesn't sound too good." And then just powered off. Then, out of curiosity, I turned it back on, and it powered on successfully, like just like, just like just what just happened a few seconds ago. But um, I don't trust that. I don't trust it for because and the PSU can get overflowed. And so what I'm trying to do it here, I have no idea what they did with this. It's, it looks beautiful, and I carried it, and it was nice, and I, it was not damaged during transit with my little cart that I purchased. <laughs> and um, but this is beautiful, and it's not. It, it's uh, this is what I want. So let's just go ahead and wait for it until it powers on, and then we'll see what happens. And and I'll just show you. I'll show you the, the back. Show you the back. There's. Um, you know that's the this label. There's the IBM thing. Um, unfortunately, it's it's uh it's kind of you know it's kind of fried. So uh, either way, I still have a, a new monitor on my way. A new, not actually a new monitor, but like an old CRT tube, um, Elo touchscreen, and that one's working. That one's brand new. So almost brand new, actually. It's not. It's used, but you can count this as. Um, you know, this is actually working as it is. So, uh, yeah, by the way, this is IBM uh, Focus G78. Right? So, I'll see if this actually, if the tube will charge, and I'll see what happens. And maybe the power supply unit inside there might go back to regular uh, voltage status. Thanks.